Hello Virgos, this is you versus them for the 8th through the 14th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe, comment. I always forget to say comment, um, but I do enjoy reading um, you guys' comments. So please uh, do so. <laughs> if you guys are interested in a personal reading, Please check out the website at pinkarianjim.com. If for some reason you can't get on there, um, go ahead and shoot me an email, okay? Let's see what's been going on for Virgo. Feeling like stuck around a situation. Trying to figure something out for sure. But feeling very restricted regarding um, something. This is a Pisces card and it may be because of, um, you know, Mercury retrograde in Pisces, that energy that has you feeling like in a lull, um, but definitely feeling restricted here. Okay. What's been going on for the individual that Virgo is thinking about? The moon. Hmm. Also, Pisces, um, Cancer energy. There's, there's something that this person's hiding. There's something that I feel like they're keeping from you guys. Um, it, and they have a lot that they don't show in general. They're not, they're not very good at expressing emotions. They, they keep a lot to themselves. Hmm. What's keeping Virgo from this individual? It's keeping Virgo from this individual. Four of Swords, just wanting, just needing some time to yourself, needing some time to get over what has hurt you. Um, needing a time out. You just need some space, is what I'm getting here. Okay. You've been healing. You've been dealing with some issues, some disappointments in your life um, with this situation and probably with other things as well. That's Libra energy there. Hmm. What's keeping this person from Virgo? Four of Swords. You guys are mirroring each other. You're feeling the same way. Both of you, I feel like you're not talking. There is no conversation, no communication, on reserve, trying to figure things out, trying to figure out where your next moves, where you go from here, what to do, what to say, um, who to involve yourself with, just trying to, you know, wrap your head around situations. Both of you, both of you are doing this, okay? Trying to figure some things out. Hmm. What's currently going on with Virgo? The Hierophant. I'm getting that you guys are definitely going through um, some sort of spiritual awakening. For sure. There's things that you're learning about yourself and um, other people, this individual. There's something that you guys, I feel like, um, like you're coming into your own. You're learning how to, I feel, you know, not only respect yourself, but to take other people's viewpoints into consideration, but also not allowing people to, you know, invade your space or, you know, step over your boundaries that you have set for yourself. You believe what you believe and, and, and you'll hear people out, but it has to, to be logical. It has to make sense. It has to, to be grounded and stable for you to really like indulge in whatever, you know, people have going on. 
Um, I feel like you guys are all about studying and learning. You know, you're studying different situations and people, um, learning from that, sharing your knowledge even with um, other people. Hmm. I, I'm strongly getting that either you, because this energy can go vice versa, either you or um, the individual that you're thinking about is is immersed in healing work. Whether it's tarot, whether it's counseling, um, they're in the business, I feel, of helping people. And in helping people, I feel that they also help themselves. You know, they're growing, they're learning. What's currently going on for the other person? The Six of Wands. They're coming out of conflict. Um, there, there's something that what I'm getting is that this person is probably... If they're not basically on the same accord with you, even though you guys are not speaking, you're not even communicating about this. I'm feeling like they're in the same sort of energy where they're trying to get to a point where they um, they know exactly what they want and and can really establish firm boundaries for themselves and and stand up for what they believe in. OK. So what I'm what I'm getting here is this person is is definitely they've come out of that five of wands energy where they were having this mental conflict, not really knowing what to what to do or what to involve themselves in. And they're moving forward um, successfully. They're going in the right direction um, as you are there with the with the Hierophant. But the Six of Wands is more of an energy that we can control, something that we're actually doing with the Hierophant, it's external to us, okay? We have absolutely no control over that. But this person is definitely, um, you know, making some changes here, doing something that they feel like is going to um, elevate them. Hmm. What's influencing Virgo? What's influencing Virgo? We have Leo energy here and Taurus. What's influencing Virgo? The moon. You guys are definitely, I feel like this is a moon in Libra. Um, you guys have, um, I don't think either one of you is that comfortable with just pouring your emotions out. Mm -hmm. I think um, you both probably come across like, you know, you don't really like to show that things are affecting you. So I get that both of you kind of hide your feelings. Have very deep feelings. Nonetheless, but you don't display them openly or easily. Hmm. What's influencing the other person? This is this is some strong y'all. You guys, I'm tingly all over. Are strongly mirroring each other strongly because in your line you have the four of swords coupled with the moon and their line they have the moon coupled with the four of swords but they're right there together what a coinky thing it's not okay it's not both of you are keeping your feelings about the other one to yourself neither one of you really knows just how deeply you feel for each other what's influencing the other person the two of pentacles the other person is ready to 
they're ready to have some forward movement. And I see them moving forward with the Six of Wands, but they don't know solidly where to devote that time, that energy, where to expend that energy. So they're kind of like they're teetering. Although I do see them moving forward successfully and not having that, that mental blockage, but they're not exactly sure what they're doing or who they want to do it with. I don't see anyone else involved here, but I'm strongly getting that they communicate with people. I don't know if they are actually dating or not, but I do get that people find this person attractive. Um, they get recognition. They may have someone, but I don't see it with that four of swords um, being there. I don't, I don't get that they have um, an exact plan of action for any particular person at this point. I don't get that. What's coming in for Virgo? The High Priestess. Ooh, 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 ooh. You guys are extra like... Very spiritual, very spiritual energy. I feel like you guys know some shit. <laughs> Somebody here knows some shit that's have a strong inner knowing. Um, I'm, I'm feeling very psychic energy. Very psychic energy. And I don't know if this is something that has just, you know, you guys are just experiencing or if it's something that was not really known or um, harvested before, but definitely feeling some very psychic energy. And you guys may also have a, a strong psychic connection. I'm feeling that for sure. strong here. What's coming in for them? Ten of Swords, feeling betrayed. You guys may have, they may feel like you guys have a mistress, um, but there's a level of betrayal here, but both of you have been hurt. Both of you have been hurt by each other. Um, it may not be for the same reasons, like one of you may have actually like involved another person in your relationship, one of you, and, but the other one feels hurt for a different reason. But, um, hmm. They may feel like you guys, you know, you have somebody on the side that you're not speaking of, um, Definitely feeling betrayed here, this individual. But, you know, it's about to be over. I don't... Six of Wands going right towards the Ten of Swords. Maybe they hit a roadblock. Maybe there's some information that they receive from you guys, this inkling, this in intuitive knowing, this psychic knowing that, um, that you guys are involved with somebody and it kind of like, you know, knocks them back a step is what they're feeling like. Because what's coming in for them is feeling like, oh my gosh, Virgo has betrayed me. Why did they do this? Like truly stabbed in the back. Hmm. What's the advice for Virgo? 
King of Swords. I feel like this is to <clears throat> speak. <laughs> Ooh, okay. To speak, to reveal your feelings. I'm feeling some of you like, okay, um, to reveal your feelings, okay, to be open and honest in this situation. What's the advice for them? Nine of Pentacles. To take care of themselves. To be confident. To be confident. Hmm. With the Six of Wands being there. Like they're, they're coming out of conflict. But I'm thinking the Six of Wands too. Is about them building their confidence up. Um, knowing their self-worth. To feel secure. And maybe this is for them to be single for a while. To get themselves together. You know, not involve themselves in a relationship currently. To work on themselves. Hmm. And I do see them doing that with the Six of Wands being near the Four of Swords. Um, they're taking some time to really think about, you know, what has gone on here and um, to get their mind together. What's the outcome for Virgo? The sign. Happy, happy, happy. Becoming aware. Becoming aware. I don't know why I'm still shuffling on that one. This Leo energy. And maybe some of them, the advice for them is actually to come towards you guys. Just to decide that they want you. Or to decide what they want to do with you. To choose you. With this Knight of Pentacles energy. Hmm. It's the outcome for them. Three of Wands. <laughs> Look at this. This is them choosing you. You see the spotlight? This is a Virgo card there. They're shining the light right on you guys. Looking for you. Choosing you. Waiting on you. Expecting you. Hmm. Aries energy there. So we have Aries, Leo, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Capricorn, Libra, Pisces, Taurus, Cancer. Um, yeah. So that's what I have for you guys. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.